Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunika, and in today's video, I'll be sharing some of the most important Microsoft Copilot Studio interview questions, along with their answers, to help you ace your next interview. Whether you're a beginner exploring Copilot Studio or an experienced professional looking to brush up on key concepts, this video has got you covered. So make sure you watch till the end, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech interview tips. Now, let's dive into the first question. What is Microsoft Copilot Studio? Answer. Microsoft Copilot Studio is a low-code platform for creating AI-powered chatbots. It allows users to design, test, and deploy bots using a graphical interface without extensive coding. The platform integrates with Microsoft Power Platform, AI models, and external systems to enhance automation and user interactions. It supports natural language processing, NLP, to understand and respond to user queries effectively. Bots can be customized for various use cases like customer support, workflow automation, and data retrieval. Additionally, Copilot Studio connects with Power Automate, Dataverse, and external APIs for seamless functionality. Question two, how do you create a topic in Copilot Studio? Answer in Copilot Studio, a topic represents a structured conversation flow. To create a topic, navigate to the topic section and select new topic. Assign a name and define trigger phrases that users might enter to initiate the conversation. Use the graphical interface to design the conversation flow by adding messages, questions, actions, and conditions. You can integrate Power Automate flows, external APIs, or Dataverse for dynamic responses. Topics can include branching logic to handle different user inputs efficiently. Testing the topic ensures smooth user interactions before deployment. Question three, what is the role of trigger phrases in topic design? Answer, trigger phrases are user inputs or keywords that activate a specific topic in Copilot Studio. They help the bot recognize user intent and initiate the appropriate conversation flow. A well-defined set of trigger phrases ensures accurate topic activation and improves response relevance. These phrases should be diverse and cover different ways users might phrase their queries. The bot uses natural language processing, NLP, to match user input with the closest trigger phrase. Regularly updating trigger phrases enhances the bot's understanding and overall performance. Question four, what are entities and how do they improve bot interactions? Answer entities are used in Copilot Studio to extract specific information such as names, dates, numbers, or locations from user input. They help the bot identify and process structured data dynamically, improving response accuracy. By capturing key details, entities enable personalized interactions and seamless automation. Built-in entities like date, currency, and email simplify data extraction, while custom entities allow developers to define unique categories. Entities also help reduce user effort by automatically recognizing relevant details in a conversation. This enhances user experience and improves bot efficiency in handling queries. Question five, how do variables work in maintaining conversation flow? Answer variables in Copilot Studio store user inputs or system-generated values to maintain context throughout a conversation. They enable the bot to remember key details, such as names, preferences, or order numbers, ensuring personalized and dynamic responses. Variables help pass data between different topics, making interactions smoother and more efficient. They can also store temporary or persistent data for use in future interactions. By reducing repetitive user input, variables improve conversation flow and enhance user experience. Additionally, they integrate with Power Automate and external systems for advanced automation. Question six, to how can you integrate Copilot Studio with Power Automate? Answer to integrate Copilot Studio with Power Automate, add a call in action, node within a topic's conversation flow. Choose a pre-built or custom flow to automate processes like database updates, sending emails, or retrieving information from external systems. The bot can pass user inputs as parameters to Power Automate, enabling dynamic responses. This integration enhances chatbot functionality by connecting with Microsoft services, APIs, and third-party applications. It helps automate repetitive tasks, improving efficiency and user experience. Proper error handling in flows ensures smooth execution and response accuracy. 
Question 7. What is the difference between predefined and custom actions? Answer predefined actions in Copilot Studio are built-in functionalities like sending messages, asking questions, or calling Power Automate flows. These actions help create structured conversations without additional coding. Custom actions, on the other hand, allow developers to define specific workflows, such as calling external APIs or interacting with enterprise systems. They enable advanced integrations and extend the bot's capabilities beyond built-in features. Custom actions require configuring authentication and API endpoints for secure communication. Using both predefined and custom actions ensures a flexible and powerful chatbot experience. Question 8. Explain how authentication works in Copilot Studio. Answer authentication in Copilot Studio ensures secure access to external systems and services by using OAuth, API keys, or Microsoft Entra ID, formerly Azure AD. It helps verify user identity and protect sensitive data during bot interactions. You can configure authentication in the bot settings to connect with APIs, databases, or enterprise applications securely. OAuth allows token-based authentication for seamless access without exposing credentials. Microsoft Entra ID enables secure single sign-on, SSO, and role-based access control. Proper authentication setup ensures data privacy, security, and compliance with enterprise policies. Question 9. How do you handle user interruptions in a conversation? Answer Copilot Studio handles user interruptions using context switching, allowing the bot to temporarily pause the current topic and address the new request. If the interruption is relevant, the bot can switch topics and return to the original conversation afterward. Four unexpected inputs, fallback responses guide users back on track. Using variables, the bot retains context, ensuring smooth transitions between topics. Intent recognition helps determine whether to continue, switch, or escalate the query. Well-structured conversation flows improve user experience by handling interruptions effectively. Question 10. How can you track and improve bot performance using analytics? Answer Copilot Studio offers analytics dashboards to track bot performance by monitoring key metrics like user interactions, success rates, and errors. You can analyze conversation trends to identify common drop-off points and refine topics accordingly. User feedback and sentiment analysis help improve response accuracy and user satisfaction. By leveraging Power BI or exporting data, deeper insights can be gained to optimize bot behavior. Regularly updating trigger phrases and conversation flows enhances efficiency. AI-driven improvements ensure the bot adapts to user needs over time. Question 11. Suppose a user asks an unrecognized question. How would you handle it? Answer if a user asks an unrecognized question. The bot can provide a fallback response suggesting related topics or rephrasing options. It may escalate to a human agent, if necessary. NLP models help improve intent recognition over time by learning from past interactions. Developers can analyze logs to add missing trigger phrases and refine bot responses. Offering guided prompts can also help users find the right information smoothly. Question 12. How would you design a bot for a customer service use case? Answer to design a customer service bot, define key topics based on FAQs, common issues, and support requests. Integrate the bot with a CRM system to retrieve customer data and provide personalized responses. Use Power Automate or APIs for automated workflows like ticket creation or status updates. Implement a live agent handoff for complex queries requiring human assistance. Regularly analyze bot performance and user feedback to refine responses. NLP and AI models can enhance intent recognition for better customer interactions. Question 13. What approach would you take to integrate a chatbot with a CRM system? Answer to integrate a chatbot with a CRM system. Use Power Automate or APIs to enable real-time data retrieval and updates. The bot can fetch user details, order history, or service requests for personalized interactions. Implement OAuth or Microsoft Entra ID for secure authentication. Ensure two-way communication so the bot can update CRM records based on user inputs. Use webhooks or scheduled flows for automated data synchronization. Regular testing ensures smooth and secure integration. Question 14. How can you ensure security when dealing with sensitive user data? 
Answer to ensure security when handling sensitive user data. Implement authentication using OAuth or Microsoft Entra ID to restrict access. Use encryption for data transmission and storage to prevent unauthorized access. Follow data privacy regulations like GDPR to ensure compliance. Implement role-based access control, RBAC, to limit access based on user roles. Avoid storing unnecessary sensitive data and use data masking where required. Regular security audits and monitoring help identify vulnerabilities and maintain a secure environment. Question 15. If a bot response is slow, how would you debug and optimize it? Answer if a bot response is slow, analyze performance metrics using Copilot Studio's analytics dashboard to identify bottlenecks. Optimize power automate flows by reducing unnecessary steps and improving API efficiency. Minimize API call latency by using batch requests or asynchronous processing. Simplify conversation paths by reducing complex logic and excessive branching. Implement caching for frequently accessed data to avoid repetitive queries. Regular performance testing ensures smooth and fast bot interactions. And that wraps up our session on Microsoft Copilot Studio interview questions and answers. I hope this video helped you gain insights into what to expect in your interview. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech interview tips, tutorials, and career guidance. If you have any questions or want me to cover specific topics in the next video, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your interview. See you in the next video. Bye for now.